Hello and thanks for joining us for the first Chasing the Dollar of 2012. We're here for another year of trying to tip you some winners at Wentworth Park Greyhound track of a Saturday night and all the feature racing as well thanks to TAB Sportsbet. Joined today by Ron Arnold, the face of Wentworth Park. Ron, another big year of Greyhound racing coming up for yeah, us. Yeah, it certainly has been, Ben. There was uh, plenty of wonderful efforts and of course with a new track record holder, Noble Pedro, setting the scene for uh, what 2012 probably will be and there's some big races coming up over the next couple of months and uh, he'll no doubt be the face of it all at the present moment. And a big night for you just uh, this week at Gosford as well, nearly got the cash. Yeah, we've got an interest in a little grey on the run second and uh, you know, congratulations to the Finns and Prince Diablo, he's a superstar dog and uh, he was in the right spot at the right time. He certainly was and uh, Ron nearly came home with a hell of a lot of cash but uh, he's got plenty anyway. Now let's see what's happening with TAB Sportsbet. Matt Jenkins, some jackpots for us at Wentworth Park so everyone can have some cash. Thanks Ben, yeah well it's good to be back after the Christmas and New Year break and looking forward to a pretty big uh, 2012, uh, there are plenty of fixed odds available this week as well. We've got uh, 10 meetings in total. The TAB Sports Bet are trading, and I can tell you, uh, not only on Friday night, but Saturday night, some very good jackpots uh, for New South Wales customers in particular on that Friday night. They're the big six, just under $8,000, so make sure you have a look at that. And make sure you have a look at the selections uh, coming up as well, because $25,000 uh, already in the pool there for the Quaddy on Saturday night at Winnie Park. Uh, looking forward to that as well. And if you've got an iPhone or an iPad app, great way to not only watch the races, but also bet as well. Uh, if you do have an account, uh, make sure you download uh, the Tab app free today from the iTunes store. It's a great way to do it. Currently, you can watch all that vision uh, on Sky Racing through your iPhone and iPad app free at the moment. So make sure you give it a trial today. Let's get into the first leg of the Quaddy at Wentworth Park on Saturday night. A pretty open looking race, this one. Yeah, it certainly is. Of course, with the uh, three Bob Payne heats, the uh, last three legs of the Quaddy, we've got a graded race to kick it off. And a lot of the Greyhounds actually been coming out of uh, the Gosford meeting this week to come through onto the Saturday night. So it'll be interesting to see how some back up. One of the Greyhounds that uh, has sort of gone well through that series is Fully Chick for Eric Castle. And uh, it's quite well drawn out in box number seven. Mickey Lee, who uh, won at Winnie Park last week off box number eight, comes up with the pink alley yet again. It's in real good form. And uh, for Rossi Burton, Mr. Gasmick's a very strong greyhound. Gonna have to do a little bit of work from box four, but he could uh, run into the money. Uh, you know, if he got a bit clear crack of them somewhere in the early stages. Seven on top? Yeah, we'll make fully check the first leg. All right, seven on top for us in the first leg of the quaddy. <laughs> On to race number six, this is the second leg of the Quaddy and the first of our heats of the Bob Payne. A very good looking race too, Rob. Yeah, Ben, and you look, well, you really can't go past Noble Pedro. He's just doing everything right. He's, he's getting out of the boxes a hell of a lot better. He's just a, a very, very tractable dog around Wentworth Park at the moment. Apart from the, the time on the board, there's nothing else in the race, even though there's some good dogs in it. He's going to get near his 29 fours. And uh, you've just got to put him on top. Young Snoz is a greyhound that has a very big win in him somewhere around. I just don't know what race it'll be. He's a real good dog. He's been racing the absolute cream over the last month or so. Comes up with the rails box. He has been going well off the eight alley, but you've just got to throw him in with a Jason Mackay. And of course, Radley Bales there, the Easter egg winner coming back to Wentworth Park. For that reason alone, he's just been a consistent Group 1 performer right throughout 2011. you just got to throw him into the mix. We've got some stars here, but it is the track record holder, Noble Pedro, on top. Race 7 is the second of the heats of the Bob Payne. There's chances all over the track here, right? Yeah, and uh, the three I've uh, thrown into the mix, Ben, actually all come out of the Gosford meeting from Tuesday night. Uh, Adam Miway had no luck in the cup final. He comes up with box five again, but again, a greyhound that normally shows good dash, and if he's taken no ill effects from the, the final run, he'll be right in the mix. Obviously, sitting up there in the red is uh, Fancy Dean. We just know the track record with that greyhound, just loves the place, been going very, very consistently. And uh, Oaks Road put in a huge run at Gosford to really set the time standard for the whole night, so that greyhound's really in form. It's, it's a matter of the start here. Whoever gets away best will probably get the cash. I'm just leaning towards that. Adam Miway, he missed the start in the Gosford Cup final. He normally doesn't do that two weeks in a row. So I'll throw number five on top, just for a little bit of value. Yeah, Ron's got the five on top and another strong race. On to race number eight. This is the third of the heats of the Bob Payne. A couple of champions going around here again. Yeah, well, look, Cole Fusion, he, he's been a superstar dog through the year. He deserves to win a big race, particularly at Wentworth Park. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a big trip all the way down from the far north coast for the connections. and. Just a greyhound that, that goes well at the track. He's drawn box number one. 
A real good dog at the, the top end of town and I'd like to see him get through in the final. Uh, obviously a greyhound like Kilty Lad had plenty of success at Wentworth Park, been off the scene for a while, you've probably got to throw him into the mix, but I think Cole Fusion might be the best of the quaddy leagues. Yeah, we'll chuck the one on top. <laughs> Ron, we'll get into your best bet of the night. Yeah, look, I'm going to lean towards Cole Fusion, Ben, I think, uh, in the final leg of the quadrilla. The other legs are very hard. You could probably take you know, three or four picks and still miss the winner in some of those races. So I'll anchor in uh, Cold Fusion as the best bet. Adam Leeway, I just forget about the run at Gosford. The Greyhound's pulled up all right. Anthony has a party of having prime to get through into another big race final. And I just think off box number five, he's gonna be at a bit of value each way for the girls out there. So we'll go Adam Leeway as the uh, each way pick. All right, we'll have a look at that. Now let's get back to Matt Jenkins from TAB Sports. Bet a busy time in sports betting, of course, as we open the year. The Magic Millions just around the corner. Test cricket. It's all happening, Matt. Some good racing coming up this weekend. Uh, for New South Wales customers, a big six uh, jackpot. We've got $50,000 in the pool for a cross meeting. Uh, that is on the New South Wales and, of course, uh, the Victoria uh, feature meetings. They're coming up this weekend. A very good move for Dry Fontaine uh, in the two-year-old Magic Millions. Uh, it's equal favourite now with Sizzling, who did go up the early favourite, but uh, plenty of money coming in for Dry Fontaine as well. We've got the three-year-old uh, Magic Millions uh, open as well. A lot of changes. Uh, Happy Hussey was thrown in as a late entry, so it's now on the second line of betting. Very good chance. Uh, won pretty impressively too on the weekend. What about the upset too? The biggest upset in EPL uh, history. Since we've been doing the odds here at TRB Sports Bet, uh, we're looking back through uh, our prices since 98. Blackburn was $17 when they upset Man United, so a very big upset there to start uh, 2012. Stack of other sport going on. We've got the Brisbane International. You can watch that on 7 too. You can also bet live on a lot of the matches uh, as well. Uh, Sam Stoza and Burn Atomic. Uh, already a nice little double on them to win the Aussie Open at $410. A lot of different sport. Go to the website and have a look. Tab.com.au. Call us on 133 or pop into your local New South Wales or Victorian TAB. All right, we're on a slow and steady start to the new year. We've found some winners, I hope. Yeah, no, look, it's a quality lineup on Saturday night uh, with both the uh, staying and the sprint races leading into two big group finals on the 14th of January. And the quality's in town, and that's when the punters come through. All right, thank you very much for joining us, Ron. Thank you very much for joining us. The first episode of 2012. We'll see you throughout the year on Chasing the Dollar. <laughs>